My name's Raisha and you're on the Ray of Sunshine channel. Today, I'm going to be cutting down our corn patch um, in the hopes of planting a new one that will bring us more yield. Really difficult and I didn't think to film it, but I've already removed all of this bird netting from our corn patch. Uh, you can see there's still little bits of our melon arms still on here that I had to rip off. Uh, so first piece of advice is do not bird net your corn patch if you have melons growing. Now the bird mesh is gone uh, and I'm just gonna start cutting the corn stalks out at the base. I'm gonna leave the roots in the dirt and I'm gonna do my best to disturb the squash as little as possible so that it can continue to grow and bring us fruit while we plant the new batch of corn. Here we go. And look, we have a nice surprise. I actually just found a melon. Look here, developing so nicely in our corn. Here's one. These might even be cucumbers. Giant cucumbers. And look, there's another one in there. Look at Okay, this must be a cucumber. Um, <laughs> I think it went too long because we didn't see it in there inside all the corn. Ooh, very juicy. Now you probably see I'm trying not to step in there. I don't want to pack down the dirt because we are just about to replant it immediately. So anywhere that I do step, later on I'm going to come through and stir up the dirt so that it's not too packed down, which is a big problem here where it's so dry. Another giant cucumber. Okay, so here is the corn patch. Now that we're finished, there's all the corn I pulled. Uh, melons are looking a little a little stressed but we still got some pollination happening so that's good I am going to spend some time trying to reorganize these melon vines try and give everybody a little more space there we go project complete we got no corn and two, okay, so now that I have all the corn cleared out, I'm going to spend some time encouraging the melons to grow up our side mesh instead of over this empty spot. So that when we do plant the corn again, that the dirt will get enough sun to germinate those seeds. And this will be a, a slow and gentle process. I've already really stressed out my melons today. Um, I'm going to try to be really gentle, gentle and respectful. I'm going to use some of this green tie wire sometimes. Um, that we use in our weed farm. It's just it's just gardening wire. It's just basically the same as a as a bread tie, uh, and you can snip it to your length. So that's what I'm using here. I'm going to uh, just go ahead and walk around in that area because it'll make things easier for me. And later I, I will just till up the dirt to make up for the fact that I've tramped it all down with my feet. Okay, so there's a few of our melon vines that have gotten rather entwined in my nasturtiums over here. And they're right along the edge of my path, so I'm just going to leave those ones there. Um, but you 
you can see here, these guys I've encouraged to come grow on the wall. They will rather quickly and very amazingly grow out some of those beautiful curly arms and grab on and they will be very safe and happy there. Um, so I'm just going to work on tilling the soil, cleaning out some of the weeds and getting it ready for my boyfriend to plant the corn. So there you have it, our freshly prepared corn patch. Now, uh, most gardening experts will say don't plant corn in the same place two times in a row um, because corn is such a heavy feeder. However, um, because our last crop was not very abundant, most likely because we did not fertilize as heavily as we should. Corn is a very hungry plant. So we're gonna fertilize this with some manure before we plant our next round of corn. And uh, stick around, hopefully you'll get to see that abundance. Thank you for watching. Um, if you liked this, please push the like button. Please subscribe to Ray of Sunshine, and we'll see you next time.